There we go. I think we're live. I, I hope we're live. <coughs> Hello, everybody. The tweets, the posts, the Discord ping all are out and about. Chance just being weird. <laughs> Adam, one upping yourself right away with a $10 super chat. Thank you so much. Oh, God, it's hideous. Oh, geez. Excuse me. Uh, thank you very much for the $10 super chat. How are you? I really appreciate you. Hello, Holly with the first on Twitch as well. Welcome in. Good to see you. Hello, comrade. Hi, everybody. Good to see you all. I am sorry that it will not be too often for the next couple weeks, but it's going to be good. I'm excited. We're going to try to end the stream. Well, not end the stream. End the week. Start the week. Start the week slash end the week in a really good position. <laughs> but we'll make it work. Uh, is there going to be truffle updates? I don't know. I need to talk to them because it's been a while and I think they might have forgotten about me. <clears throat> Jay, good to see you. The toastiest of toast. Hello. How are you? Thank you very much. Uh, Thea. Oh, the dead one. I, I really tried to read that. <clears throat> but yeah, the dead one. Hi, how are you? Good to see you as well. Your last live for two weeks. Yes. So I'm going on vacation with the family Ooh. in just a couple days. I'm very excited. Flare Spire. Two months. Finished my rewatch of Stargate Atlantis. Found old g map that has a big chunk of Atlantis in it. Wait, what? Really? I need it. Gimme. I need whatever that map is. That would be awesome. Please. Uh, I also just finished my SGA watch through and I'm halfway through the Ori seasons of Stargate SG-1. Like I just hit the season nine finale last night and I'm gonna probably finish season 10 by like the end of this week. So I'm, I'm having fun. I'm having fun going back and nostalgia baiting myself with uh, like, it, it's pure nostalgia bait just to play old sci-fi TV shows. I enjoy it, right? But it's been a lot of fun, right? Just remember, you go to Mexico, beware of the tropical birds screaming everywhere at 6 a.m. That's a thing? That's a, that's a thing? Um, hmm, okay. Concerning. <laughs> Theo, hello, how are you? Get back because of your land of street binging SG-1 right now. Yes! Right? Um, put it up there without permission. Oh, makes sense. Makes sense. No, that's totally fine. Just throw it in gaming or something. That would totally work. Uh, good to be here. Glad you're here as well. G, how are you? Good to see you as well. Uh, no, we're going on a cruise. We're taking the girls on a Disney cruise. It's going to be nice. I'm so excited. It's going to be wonderful. We're going to have nice family time. And there's like a kid zone that they can go into, which is basically like a daycare, which is like a whole deck which is just all sealed off and you need to sign the kids in and out of, which is awesome. So they'll have time that they get to go be by themselves, which means Mrs. Me, uh, me and Mrs. Gundo get time to be by ourselves as well, right? Spider rain. I am so confused. I am so confused, right? That's, that's wild. De uh, downloaded the last life on Curse Forge. Huh? Last, last what? Last mod pack? I'm confused. I don't know what you're at. At ping? Uh, yeah, sure. No, that, uh, actually, don't, don't ping me just because I'll know it's there. It's totally fine. No, thank you. Yeah, no, exactly. I agree. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not cool with this. This is not okay. Thank you very much, dead one. I appreciate it. Please don't remind me that spider rain exists. That's genuinely concerning on several different levels. I'm not gonna lie. Asenix, how are you? Good to see you as well. It's gonna be good. So I'm excited, We're gonna, I'm gonna be away. We leave on Thursday, which means I'm gonna miss like Thursday, Friday and weekend streams. And we don't, and then we're gone for a week. And then I will probably be able to stream, not this, not the following Monday, but one week after that. 
is when I'll be active and able to stream again. So that'll be fun. <clears throat> so exciting. It's going to be good. I cannot wait for it. Uh, there's going to be new videos in the meantime. So don't worry. Uh, we have, as long as everything works and we get the final little details on it, episode one of this brand new series uh, launching this weekend, which I am so excited for, if it all goes according to plan. And then hopefully, if we can do it right, episode two, immediately following it the week after that. And then we have our new 100 Days video, and then there's Extraction, and then, ah, I'm so excited. Light blue and pink. Okay, give me a second. Uh, so I just need to basically just make this a lighter blue and a pinker pink. Um, that doesn't really translate well, but that's kind of the best I can do with the lights. So that's a little bit more pink instead of purple on there. How do you post videos? As often as I finish them. Uh, usually it's at least two a month. Uh, usually it's at least two a month. Uh, I'm trying to maintain at the very bare minimum two a month. Probably more. Not gonna lie. Probably more is the goal. But I'm excited. <clears throat> but yeah. Binge every video last month. Uh, greetings from the Netherlands. Thank you very much, Tommy. I appreciate it. And uh, M Mban? Minivan. Hi. How are you doing as well? Sega so would be a really precious childhood thing for me. Watch SG1 Atlantis and Enterprise every Friday night. Yes. Right? I, that, 100%. Do you accept links to mods? Uh, there's a suggestions channel on my Discord, which I use for mod packs, but not just random links in chat, if that's okay. SGU again. I That's the one series I might skip rewatching because SGU was a lot of fun for me. And in some ways, I feel like SGU was before its time. But the fact that that doesn't actually come to a satisfying conclusion, I don't know if I can put myself through that again. Right? I was so bummed when SGU got canceled. So, like, it's, it's just that. Like, I don't know if I could do that again. So we'll see. What are you do for the next two weeks? Torment each other. Ooh. Have Sierra stream. Torment him. Right? Twitchy Witchy. Thank you for the prime sub. Really appreciate it. Should have kept going for years. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. It happens. That's a bummer. Uh, it's, it's, it's a bit of a bummer. But you never know. It died so we could get Agents of Shield. You got a lot. You can't lie. Ming Na was a, amazing Ooh. as Agent May. So there's that. Tommy, thank you for this sub as well. And the hype train is active over on Twitch. I really appreciate it. Still looking forward to see it for the first time. Disappointing it or not. Here's the thing. It's only disappointing because it was getting really, really, really good. And then it ends. Which is a bit of a bummer, right? SGU Stargate Universe, in case anyone was wondering, it's the third series in the Stargate Universe. Ha ha ha. It was getting really, really, really good. And then it ends. And it ends on a cliffhanger. And yeah, oh, Flair just said the same thing. And it ends on a cliffhanger. It's the worst kind of show cancellation is that it ends on a cliffhanger, and it's like, Arr! Your last days on Earth. Um, I've seen the Your Last Days server. Very cool, very adult, so not 100% my brand, but I support a lot of the people who are active on it because I love Minecraft roleplay. That's fun. All right, so we're just going to get straight into it because we have a lot of building to do. I have book people to add. Uh, Adam with the $10 super chat and then who else is over here? I want to make sure I get everything. Oh, don't worry about that. You're fine. Flare Spire was two months. Uh, Millimy with the 100 bits. Uh, do, 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 do. Twitchy Witchy with the prime sub. So brand new sub. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, oh no. Okay, we'll just have no space there, I guess. And Tommy with a brand new sub as well. Welcome in to the new subscribers. Thank you. <laughs> RG Snorlax with 100 bits. Thank you as well. In the book. Second, sick, uh, but having a day. Well, there you go. 
You get to be in the book. Everybody who supports the stream gets to be in the book. Whenever we're in the hardcore world, that is how that works. You got a lot. You got a long name. A little bit. Zaybear. <laughs> Thank you so much. A, a bear with the five months of YouTube membership. Thank you. <clears throat> Glad to be here. I appreciate it. Theo, you're totally fine. So, uh, uh, Chance, I saw your message. I responded to your message. You don't need to ask other people to say the same message, my friend. <laughs> you're fine. Uh, I gave you an answer. You, you gotta listen. Okay, so, in case you missed our perfectly normal hardcore stream on Friday, we are working in this little section of the city. We're trying to finish up this beach area right here with all these little patios and uh, little sections and boardwalks and everything as we're getting everything set up in here for the kind of central park, like beach vibes kind of area. And it will overlook this pond here as well. We did this whole section of the city and the, and the sidewalks that we started setting up and just getting all of that in place. And we built all of this wall, which is kind of our beach area retaining wall and everything else, just getting that there. Beginning chat done, now gonna be muting stream, finishing up your episode now, be back for real. Sounds good, see you in a bit. But we're getting just a few things done over here. I did add a little bit, I just did some tweaking between streams, right? I just put a couple jungle fence posts in a few spots to kind of try to tweak the silhouette of this, right? Uh, the palm tree a little bit. And I hung some lanterns from that just so I could get rid of the lights around this area to make sure that everything would be all fine. And I think this is all where block lights, where is it? Yeah, block light four. This is all spawn safe to, ah, it gets a little dark right here. But other than that, it's all, this is all spawn safe over here. So we should be fine to have the beach be a little bit darker, but we're just trying to get this whole section, this whole area of, oh, excuse me. <laughs> this whole area of the city fully done. Ooh. I also just did a little work. Aesthetics. That's a totem gang. Okay, A-S-C-E-N-I-X for 12 months of YouTube membership. Thank you so much. You, we get to do a totem gang, my friend. First person or third person, right? Don't have mini map uh, light level in the info panel. I don't, I don't have, I don't have mini mod, right? I, I have not. The one thing, the SMP is the one thing, line thing for the SMP still happening goes in the servers between seasons that got mentioned. Uh, there's reasons on the technical side of why that hasn't happened. Hopefully, we have a couple things that we're trying to get done that I've been waiting to get done. And once they are finished, we will be very easily able to run events like that. But it's been a little bit of a trouble to be able to get that stuff done. So I do apologize. All right, Asenix, thank you for one full year of support on the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. For that, we break this in your honor, Totem Gang. <laughs> you love to see it. You love to see it. One year of support. Thank you. So, all right, now we can get back to it. We can, we can. Break the uh, break this. Just some small celebration, right? <clears throat> when do you bring their? Oh, Jasmine. Yeah, you probably missed a hardcore episode. Uh, Jasmine here kind of lives out. She just kind of lives over here above the base. She's a little far. Away. I'm gonna have to do some like logging in and out to to pull her over in this direction or else that's gonna be a bit of a problem. She's gonna get a little far away. But she's just chilling. She's just hanging out right there. Just vibing. She's watching the base, that's her job. Uh, you should go check out the I Captured the Dragon in the Overworld video if you wanna see how that was done. But that was fun. I, that was that one was a lot of fun, I was excited. 
The Wi-Fi is being difficult again. No, Guard Dragon. Yes. Okay. So, I went and I found, I collected all of the string. Right? I went and I found and I collected all of the string that I possibly could to try to be able to finish all of the beach umbrellas that we have. So I just have a couple, uh, let's grab this, let's grab this, you know, let's just grab all of them and they'll make it work. Is the other dragon still in the end? They are. Terabyte, hello, how you doing? Welcome in. Uh, the other dragon is still just vibing over in the end. So I don't know what we'll do with them, but we'll do something at some point. I just, I just don't have a good answer. So, I don't know. We'll see. Could be fun. Okay. Uh, eh. There we go. So, let's do... No. That's not... That would make stairs. That would be silly. That was the same thing again. One, two, three. Whoa! That is annoying that it can't be exactly what we need. Wolven! Sweet 16 of support. My goodness. Let's put that... In the book! With the 16 months. Thank you so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. Some streaming in the S&P. What happened with that? Have not... Uh, I mean, first it was the technical issues that were being encountered. And then now it is... There's things I want to do on the S&P that aren't done yet. And have been a bit of a nightmare to get done. So it's just taking the time to be able to get those things finished so that way we can actually do it easily is the hope. Should make a beach ball? How would I make a beach ball? Ooh, wait, can I make a beach ball? That could be fun. First time catching a stream, just got back into Minecraft this week. Well, hello and welcome back. Glad to have you. Oh, I don't need two sacks of red wool. Uh, do I have any orange anywhere around here actually? I don't, and I have two, oh, that's annoying. I have two red and gray. Okay, hold on. That that can't stand. We gotta get rid of that a little bit. We, we can put this there, make this orange instead because, eh, there we go. Because that is the better design for red and gray. Two, three, there we go. That's at least passable. You can make a beach ball using your head. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> All right, I see how it's going to be. Uh, yellow? Let's just do cyan and yellow. Because that could be fun. A nice little, like, swirly pattern. Like a spiral pattern. I don't think we have any of those. We can do some beach blankets right here. Of some kind. Like gray. Purple, purple. Purple and yellow, because why not? Let's just overcommit. I need a light source hidden underneath that. So where's the sea lantern? Where have I put all these? What's the link to the stream? Uh, at YouTube.com slash at Lagundo slash live will get you what you need. And you're fine. Maybe with stained glass. Oh, we are going to put some floaties in there, and they are going to have some stained glass as well. Uh, DDoS United. Extraction's going to be so much fun genuinely like i i know i've i've shown you all some of the stuff and i've had the tweets going out and everything else i am so hyped it's honestly gonna be it's honestly gonna be wonderful right like it's gonna be good i cannot wait i i cannot wait to be able to play that because it's gonna be the kind of thing that that's definitely gonna be something that i'm just gonna go play like, I'm just gonna do runs on the server. Maybe videos on it if it starts doing well. Like, that'll be wonderful. Jester, hi. How you doing? Sign in yellow, your two favorite colors. Well, nice timing. Nope, not there. There, perfect. I think, what else can we put right here? So another sand castle would probably be nice, <coughs> right? Like another, another something like that would probably be nice. This beach is making me want to do invisible item frames and add them to the, add them to the hardcore world because I so desperately want to be able to just put a shovel on the ground or like some, some small, some small things. Like I would, I would love to be able to have that. And I've, 
been hemming and hawing and debating with myself for a while about having that. Right? How about them Chiefs? I'm not a huge sports person, but woo, sports. I just, I, I got to say, it's really impressive to see Taylor Swift win her first Super Bowl. Her first season and everything, too? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait because some people are going to be upset about that. <laughs> and that's going to tell me a lot about which team you were rooting for. The Swifties really won that one. Odysseus, thank you for the 100 bits. I really appreciate it. 24D2S. Ah, I... I was capitalizing on on your your O. Oh, uh, 100 bits. Make another throne. I mean, the first throne is just right here over the hill. That feels a little excessive. I'm not gonna lie. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight. There we go. Can be in the book, please. Uh, chance. I entered you the first time. I guessing your dad was back again. But the book is for people who support the stream in some way, uh, monetarily, just as a way to say thank you for people sending a little bit of support in my way. That's all. I like keeping it to that just so it's nice and simple, so that way people don't aren't like, why does so-and-so get in and I don't? There's a very clear kind of, very clear reasoning as to why you get in. Picnic table. Ooh. Uh, there's a football game. I thought it was an Usher concert. It was actually technically both, apparently. Um, Erica, your very first super chat on the platform ever. Thank you for the 250 euro. Uh, thank you very much, Erica K. Uh, I just use the dollar sign because American. Because that's all I have on my keyboard. So I do apologize. But that is the best that I can do. I want to throw a couple watermelon down in a few spots just because I think that that would be cool to have we can put some over here in the slightly more like I don't think people would would chill out on this section kind of space but it would make for a nice little bit of just simple colorization bring some bring some character over here to this side uh, can't donate uh, you are either you aren't the only one that's fine like I said, it is not required to donate to the stream at all, y'all. Don't feel pressured at all or anything else like that. That is just how how I keep that. Combination of your is Control Alt Five. Wait, really? Hold on. Control Alt Five. Wait. Um, no. Is it Control Alt Number Pad Five? No. Control Alt Dollar Sign. Four? Nope. Uh, no, it didn't work. It didn't work. So I'm just leaving the dollar. <clears throat> Beyonce releasing music via a Verizon commercial. Isn't she also on Twitch now too? Which, oh geez, more, more competition on this platform. That's just what we needed. I say sarcastically and don't ever look into that too much. Okay. Uh grab this we can break that's already lit up add fish we're gonna put axolotls inside of the nope there's is there already somebody yes there is okay perfect so that's already done let's just do that oh we're gonna need another another beach towel yes we're gonna get axolotls and we'll breed up to even get a blue axolotl inside of this little lake area right here just because that feels wildly appropriate, right? Like, I'm just gonna put some of these down, knowing that we have to put beach towels underneath, on top of, well, on, not underneath, on top of all of the ones that I'm putting down right now. So we'll get some green, some yellow, and some orange, because I think those are the, two, the colors I've been underrepresenting so far. There, there, and there, perfect. That can just be one, two, three. Nope, missed. I had one job. I think there's one, yeah, there's one more that I left over there. Are there green axolotls? No, I don't think so. Hold alt and type 0218 on the numpad and then release and you will get a, 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 a euro sign. Okay, hold on, uh, boot. 
Let's get a purple blanket for over here. Hey, Sloth, how you doing? But axolotls attack sea turtles. Oh yeah, absolutely. They attack everything. They're omnivorous little buggers. Okay, so let's try this. Uh, book here. Uh, Alt 0218. Nope. That didn't work. That just puts a big U. I don't think Minecraft can handle Unicode entry inside of a book. Um, that's a that's unfortunate. Minecraft has no euros. That's what I did. Zero. One two. Eight. Wait. Okay. Zero one two eight. Oh! I transposed the numbers. Oh! Sick! I can actually do that correctly. Not 0218, 0128. That's just low grade dyslexia coming in. Uh, that's sick. I learn something new every day. Right? 0128, 0128, 0128, 0128. Okay. I can remember that. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Let's see. Is any of these block light levels bad? 210. Yeah. I need like some light at the very end of those. So where's the lamp? Actually, you know what? Tiki torches seem like they would fit better. So let's just do some torches on the on the railings. I think torches actually work better for this. Like thematically, they make more sense right here. Okay. So uh, is discalcul discalcula? See, I can't read either, so that's also a little bit a little bit difficult. So there's two things we need to do. One is obviously Oh, hello. See, there there's definitely mobs spawning here somewhere. One is obviously finishing up the beach proper. We have one more tree that we need to build, probably. The second is the tiki bar. Which I really want to put in place. So that could be fun. And we need to make sure that this whole thing is spawn safe. That we're not getting any mobs coming in here as well. Right? So we'll 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 see. We'll see what we can do. This is this is undoubtedly dark enough, right? Uh block level zero. It's literally right literally right here is dark enough. So if we put one torch right there, that's fine. That sand is cursed, so that's fun. Favorite streamers, Tommy in it fills the dream forge labs and Lagong. I mean, you misspelled my name, so that doesn't really bring confidence to me, my friends. Uh, the art channel would be wonderful to share. So, oh, there's more umbrellas down here that I that I had wanted to do. That's okay. We'll get we'll get to those in a bit. So I can put some of this stuff away. I do need the jungle wood, bamboo. I was thinking about making the tiki bar very jungle and bamboo just because i think that that would be a fun contrast or a fun challenge to do use a lot of jungle and bamboo blocks for that what do you all think drink the cursed sand i mean it uncursed itself so that's probably it's probably fine will you ever do a q a yeah you know i'm so bad at answering questions now, I, I've done those, but doing a dedicated video on that probably doesn't make sense for me right now. Like, that's why I stream, is so I can just talk to people. Because then you also see the answers live, so you know they're not heavily edited or anything. You also know that they're, they're kind of real, which is the point. I also should probably fix this. Uh, so let's just make that really quickly into that. We can get... Actually, some bamboo over there would probably look good. So let's just take these eight and plant them. Do, 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 do. All right. So we can plant a couple of these just around. And a few gaps. Let that outer wall be natural. We'll probably get some vines on them as well. Lanterns, but put them on a block, not hanging. Uh, we could also use clay pots for that. <clears throat> Finish your episode, you're back. Hi, Melody, welcome back. Okay, I want to fix this right here. So let's go get... There's more andesite. I think I need more cobble. I don't remember. Yep, there's some. 
I think I used up all my mossy cobble, unfortunately, which is a bit of a bummer. I want to finish the pathways over on that side before we get too far into it. So I'm going to need a bit of brick. That's probably enough, right? Oh, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I've overdone it slightly. It's okay. Overkill is underrated. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's fine. We should get this thing. The do is not the streams of the Q&A. Yeah, 100%. That, that's kind of the idea. Hey, Story Keeper. How you doing? Okay, so let's get... Probably do about, like, here, I'm thinking. Probably do about here. That's, that's, oop, not what I meant. I guess we'll have to trim the bamboo right here on the path, just to be fine. I don't know how far down to let these vines grow, because on one hand, the whole idea is that the city is partially overgrown and partially kind of retaken by nature. On the other hand, I don't want to make the whole base look like ruins, so I'm not certain how far to take it. I also should probably finally get sniffers. I think I have sniffer eggs that have been sitting in a shulker box for the better part of a year. I think I should probably get sniffers so I could put torch blooms all around this thing, right? And the and the other the other pod, the pitcher pod or whatever they're called. That would probably be smart given the logistics of the base and what it is. We need an obelisk candle now. Hmm. That's an idea. We'll just put this in a couple spots. <coughs> Oversent, Laguno Kipley. Hey, you got my name right this time. Thank you. To there? I think that's probably good. Do, do, do. Hold on. There we go. Do, 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 do. Sorry, Mrs. Gundo needed me for something. Husband time, not dad time. Not not that time. Oh, wait, wrong block. Eh. No, here we go. Get the path. Can you please unban me, please? Um, What did you do? That would probably help inform any sort of information. Th this chat's not the place to ask for that, though. Uh, there is a, an appeal unban form on the Discord server. If you got banned from the Discord server, there's, I'm, there's probably a reason. I'm sorry. Uh, I love all my views. <laughs> nice try, Mega. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> is Matt owner? I'm his demon pet. Okay, Chance, you need to chill. Please. Thank you. All right. Let's do that to about here. Actually, let's just pull this back by one. And then, hmm. Yeah, I need I need a few more. To there, that's probably enough. Shulkercraft and Crystal PVP, who would win? I don't think Shulkercraft does a lot of PVP and neither do I, so I would assume no one. I, I would assume no one would win, I'm not gonna lie. That that feels more like an everybody loses kind of scenario. To there. And we do this just to filter. Kind of like off towards that. And then that should right here. There you go. And now it looks like it kind of gets overrun by sand because that's basically what should happen. Do, do, do. And then a couple more pieces right there. Perfect. I think we have this transition now fully done. We need to get rid of the last little bit of granite, but it's there. 
So we're fine. What are we doing? We are working on getting the beach area finished is the whole idea. So I want this whole beach section fully and properly decorated and isolated and set up from the main space. We have the wall. We know what this pathing path right here will look like as well. So we could get that at least done. I don't know what this tunnel entrance looks like. So that should be... So that should be here, and then we should be good to go. Awesome, thanks for telling. Yeah, no problem. That should be set. And we get a little bit more of our custom trees, even though they're they're kind of gimpy. They're, they're not 100% perfect, but they're something. And this nice stone arch that goes over into the lake, which was one of my favorite details, I'm not gonna lie. Right, it was an epic and perfectly normal beach episode. I need, nope, pickaxe. Six, we can get rid of that. And just put the tiniest bit of andesite covering it up. I just, I don't like granite. I don't like granite as, as part of just a random stone generation. I wish that wasn't the case, I'm not gonna lie. And this might be, it might be a hot take, I apologize. But I don't like granite as just random stone generation. I like it as an accent block in very specific ways. I don't like it being a part of just the random builds that I'm in the process of making. So we can do that. We can do this and get that all isolated out and we'll be fine. Hello, Weebycraft, how you doing? Want to come back on the server? After what you just said? Uh, no. No. And keep talking about it. you're getting banned on here too. I'm sorry, my friend. Uh, the brick. The block is not very nice agreed. Yeah, okay. I, I, it's, it's not, I, it's not some sort of crusade against it. It's just, I prefer specifically if I'm building and setting up these kind of manicured, manually made cliff faces, I prefer if they stayed consistent in color palette, right? That causes a little bit of a problem if you just have pink streaks across it. Now, I'm, fully up for making a granite based build where that actually works really nicely badlands with a little brown terracotta Ooh, that could be fun boulders in the s p training generation that's kind of the vibe that i'm going for we can get rid of that in a minute let's dump inventory space because we're pretty full so eh, up and over we go we can drop off the ores and then we'll get everything else polished deep slate is very nice all of the like deeper darker grays I totally understand why people like those. That's totally fine. It's just a matter of the lighter gray that you get from overworld higher level generation. It feels like a little bit much. Um, so Weeby, I'm not even in the scenarios anymore. So I'm not the person to ask. And even then I, I had no say in who joined. So that is all Sean's racket and Sean's uh, Sean's purview, he's the person that you're probably going to want to try to go and talk to, if anything. <clears throat> Watch out, your pickaxe doesn't die. It's got like 200, yeah, 268 durability. It's okay. We can pop over to the visit to the villagers, and we'll repair it in just a little bit. So that'll be fine. Uh, shovel. Let's excavate out the space that I want to put the tiki bar in, which is right here, I think. I tried to I tried to pick block on the on the item, which is a little weird. Kids and I uh, watch your back catalog in the meantime. No worries, Josh. There will be new content while I'm gone too. It's just I won't be live. That's the only catch. Like I have new stuff that's coming out while I'll be away. Stuff I'm very genuinely excited for. Stuff I'm I am hyped for. Not gonna lie. Oh oh oh, this is a problem. Um, huh. Okay, hold on. We need to. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do this real quick. Let's just. Nope, that's a trapdoor. Let's just do that so any water that we encounter is contained. Let's get our sponges. I think we probably need to get. Wait, why is that? Okay, that's. It was on, it just wasn't on. It just wasn't visually on at the moment. So let's drop off some blocks that I'm not actively working with right now. The mud bricks can stay. 
The wood can all stay. Those stone types can stay. I need... Here we go. Are these all wet? They are. To the nether we go! Dude, your builds are beyond amazing. This is gonna be fun. We're gonna build a little tiki bar to kind of fit in with everything else. Do you want to know? Do I want to know what? Surprise underwater cave. Yup. That happens. We have to be careful here with the sponges, actually. Because we could mess up the wall. If is it is a little bit of a problem. If we're not careful, we could mess up the wall. Because if one of these sponges happens to pull up a oh, wait, not what I meant to do. Happens to pull up a little too high. We're gonna have a problem if that starts messing with the wall so that it refills in the ocean. Because that'll resource a lot of the blocks in the wall, which is a problem. It means it'll kind of break containment and get into the actual city proper. There we go. Jungle wood tiki hut. We're gonna do bamboo and jungle wood. I think it'll be nice. Some spruce trapdoors for accidents in a very few specific places. Like to build up a lot of the casts and pegs and stuff that I want to have in there. Uh, we're also going to use a lot of the dead mangrove roots to be able to have some more kind of thatch looking building. We might even have to go get some hay bales on this place. Just to like add on to that yellow colorization that we're going to get from the bamboo blocks themselves too. So that'll be fun. This is going to be very fun to harvest, I'm not going to lie. Okay. Uh, ho, and watch this. And in just a few seconds, several stacks of dried sponges. I love this mechanic. It is one of my favorite in the entire game. Yep, love using mangrove roots and built. Yes. It definitely works as either a dead or like a fat or a partially constructed kind of block. Something that works very nicely for that. Let's run around and pick up all of these. That should be four stacks and nine. Four stacks and nine. Perfect, we have everything that we needed. <coughs> Need to rewatch the video where you build the water wall? Uh, that was all on streams, actually, Grace. Uh, actually, wait, no, deleted the ocean. Deleted, it was in, I did compile that down into delete the ocean. It's the construction of the city that hasn't really made it into a video. <laughs> Because how do I convert all of this into a video that people would care about it the whole way through? Considering I've been working on this build for six months. That's not that's not how Minecraft or YouTube works. Right? It's just people don't care about that kind of stuff. It'd be very tricky. Not the hydrate. Everybody hydrate. Okay. First things first, research. Does this interact with the wall anywhere? Mm, okay, we're pretty far behind the wall. But it would be smarter if we blocked this off. So... Hmm. Let's just, let's just block off the wall. Let's just call it blocked off right here. And then what we'll do is we'll have this intersect with the tiki bar in some way so that there's like an underwater porthole right here in that window that I think would be really cool. I think that that could be very fun. There we go. That's easy. And I don't think we've done any damage, so we're good. Wander out. Where do I not have inventory space for this? Bubblin, as a brand new channel member, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. We can get the book. Uh, do you fit on page one? No, you don't. To page two you go. As a brand new channel member. Mm. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Especially the hardcore 100 days videos. Been thinking of doing one myself. Alice's Cave Mod Primordial Cave. Go for it. That sounds awesome. The, I've been thinking about how to make a video in Alex's caves for a little while now. I'm not gonna lie. The trick is, doesn't work for a 100 day video because getting to the caves is actually a bit of a pain. Uh, it, it, it wouldn't like work well into the flow and it's kind of a lot of downtime or at least it feels like it would be a lot of downtime 
based off of kind of how I play the game. And then if I try to do something other than 100 days video, until I've really gotten more more things under my belt and as far as challenge content, I, I didn't want that to be the first thing I tried. But hopefully soon we'll be able to do some more some more and different stuff. I'm actually very excited for some stuff I got coming up. Like I said, I, I'm super hyped on certain things that I'm doing. Clara, uh, Clara Oswald, thank you very much. Five months of support. I really, really appreciate that. Skip the downtime, do it in multiplayer. Yeah, that's a thing that we might be able to do. That that um that first city uh, stream that we did. Uh, like, what was it, last week? That was a ton of fun. Honestly, that was a ton of fun. And I think I'm going to, I want to do more stuff like that. I know we've been kind of talking in the Discord chat that I set up. <clears throat> um, that I set up to organize all of that. That was a lot of fun. And I want to do more, I want to do more stuff like that. So maybe, yeah, maybe we do that as a, as a, as a fun stream. That could be entertaining. Y'all want to see a struggle in Alex's caves? Then again, I don't know if that works as a good stream or if I should do it as a video so I can edit to make sure that I interact with all of the key parts of the things that happened in the city. So, I don't know. I could go either way on a few of these things. It, it, it would be like, how do I want to try to hook this all together? We're going to rebuild out part of that arch. Oh, you know, it'd be cool. Like a, like a skull looking. Oop. Uh, like a skull looking thing. I don't know if I have the space for it. But it would be very cool to have a skull looking kind of vibe on the front of this. I didn't. I know I said Tiki Bar, but now I'm thinking Pirate Tavern. So I, I, I know I'm changing up the script a little bit here. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to just close this off. Yeah, I've gone from Tiki Bar to Pirate Tavern. And and my brain is my brain is going is going both ways on this. Like I could take this either way. This could be a lot of fun. Uh, I've been fun everyone sleep on the side of the planet. Yeah, it's a little late for you, my friends. Okay, drop that there, that there, and then that there. Easy peasy. Yes, I'm using a shovel. It's fine. There we go. Problem solved. Oh, I'm too far away from the beacons. I'm just out of range. I'm just out of range. Was editing new vid tomorrow. Sick. I'm excited. Is it of the first? Oh, you probably already gone to sleep. <clears throat> Pi are we be pirates now? Both? Both? Both could be fun. Let me just, let me excavate out some space that I feel like we've made a good amount of space that would Whoa. render a good tavern in the space. A Senex! What the heck? Editing that one next. Nice. With the 20 gifted memberships. Okay. That's bonkers. Thank you so much for the support. I have your name right here. Eh. There you go. Oh, no. Eh. Nope. Enter. There you go. Enter first. It's 20. Thank you so much for the, for that. I really appreciate you. That's very, very kind. Teacher was AFK. Uh, nobody got let in. Oh, no. Pick is nearly 74. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Tell you what. We're just going to let it go a little bit longer. I need to make sure that I'm not losing the mossy cobble. Sand, stone, mossy cobble. That's actually a valuable block right now. You're green now. There you go. 59. Gotta save time. We gotta be efficient. 42. We're gonna get it down low. I'm gonna go really low. Just just to just to stress people out. 39. Oh, the lack of haste is killing me, though. Following for over two years. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. That's a lot. You've been here through it all. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. 
Where are we going? How low do we go? I honestly feel like this is a good amount of space, though. I do like that a little bit. It, like... Oh, the, the lack of haste is killing me. That's a nice little bit of caving. What are we at? 22! Oh, no. What is it gonna be? 19! Sixteen <laughs> I'm just I'm just agent of chaosing at this point. Come on, give me my speed back and my jump boost and everything else. I'm so spoiled. There we go. Oh my hunger's down, that's why. I was wondering. Karma for giving us anxiety. Is this a joke to you? Did you make a cabana? Cabana would be a good addition. Honestly. 13. I'm going to get it to one. Ooh. 10. Knocked. I'll knock with the 21 months. Just build another, another beacon. I probably should. Honestly. But the fact that it's like we're five blocks from the edge, the amount of time I would need haste over here is minimal. What are we at? Seven. Five. Six. Three. Ooh, that was a really bad roll. Three. Two. Two, two, I'm getting it to one. I'm getting it to one. <laughs> Let chaos reign. <laughs> All right, we can go repair it now. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Let chaos reign. Okay, we can drop everything off and we can go we can go repair it now. Hey y'all, I think my pickaxe is a little low. <laughs> Should probably take just a little bit of time, make sure that it, that's gonna be okay. Now, here <laughs> I almost broke that. <laughs> Millaby! Totem gang! First or third person, my friends? Which would you prefer? I need rockets. One more hit. It is tempting. It is so tempting to like mine these shulkers out. Cause that could, that could do it, but I'm gonna leave them. Cause the last thing I wanna do is roll low and have that be the case. Cause that could be bad. Your choice, a little low. I had a couple of months on YouTube as well. Uh, couldn't deal with the ads. Your chaos goblin mode gives me life. Okay, cool. If we already count it. Oh, come on. That was not a hit. Game Y. I don't like how far away Jasmine is. I'm going to have to do some logins right over there to, to get her back in, in position. Do not hit with the pickaxe. Be funny if I accidentally hit something now. Uh, it sounds like a great gamble. Will the pick break? I would not risk that at this point. Okay. Come here, you. Hello. This is a scam, but that's okay. Ten? I No. Uh, do. Bop. Boop. Bop. Okay. I really need to get my friends here infected and cured. I really do need to, to fake a pandemic over here to be able to, to get better prices. That would be great. I guess actually it wouldn't be faking, it would be causing. Let's let that all gain and recharge. 
That was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, let's just go buy glass and emerald and everything else. <clears throat> you should use a wish spell. <laughs> okay. That. Okay, glass. Glass. No, that's books. Buy more glass. Because glass is actually a really great trade for this. It's very high in experience. Lanterns actually as well, considering they're only one emerald. <laughs> I caused a zombie apocalypse to get better sales. Sure, we might have ended the world, but for a very brief period of time, we created a lot of value for our shareholders. Uh, mm. All right, we can put most of this away. Nope, wait, hold on. I need those lanterns, actually. <laughs> Sorry, that, that is a little goblin of me, but that's okay. There we go. That's all repaired up. It's not full, but it's close. Put the glass there. Thankfully, it's raining. Is villager trading? Uh, one thing I probably re like, I really should do is get a zombie over onto this island that I could do infection, right here, right? That could be a thing. <clears throat> the trick is getting them here because it's a mushroom island. Like I was smart in making it on that island so no zombies could spawn and attack them. But at the same time, no zombies can spawn, so I can't get them infected to be able to capitalism either, which is a bit of an unfortunate situation. Do you not have an XP farm yet? No, because I like being very deliberate with what I built. With what I build. I think I, like that's a video I've had on the docket for, for the hardcore world, is just building every XP farm and comparing them all in a video. So having it be like a, a challenge of which has the best rates while at the same time being a video about like getting to level 1000 or something like that. Because that's the kind of thing that people would watch a YouTube video for. But I don't, at the same time, I'm like, eh, I don't need it for how I play. So it hasn't been high on the to-do list, right? It hasn't been high on the to-do list. So it's it's always been just kind of off in the in the background of like, yeah, I'll get to this. I'll 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 do something with this at some point. Come here, you. There we go. <laughs> that took way more times than I'm willing to admit. So let's drop this off. We can pick up the woods that we already have in our inventory. So that'll make picking them up very easy. Then we can get the we get that going. Now, see, that's what I mean. Like, that'd be a good video. That doesn't make for a good stream. The streams are great for us building out this massive city, which is something that takes weeks and, and months, genuinely months that we've been working on the city. What, the better part of six months to build this and all the farms necessary to get all of this done has been a six month endeavor. <clears throat> so at the same time, it's like YouTube won't watch that video. YouTube doesn't care about that video. Realistically, they don't. So what do I do? to make the make the world kind of matter to both YouTube and Twitch. And it's something that I've genuinely struggled with quite a bit, which is probably why my hardcore videos don't do as well as like some of my compatriots. Also just because I, I build a little bit smaller than a lot of other people. I don't go for as much of a spectacle build. So it does make it a little bit harder to kind of make everything work, but we'll see. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to have that for, yeah, I like that. We're going to put some wool to be like kind of a tarp that's hanging right over there, which I think will be a fun kind of addition, like the sail of a ship that got slightly moved. We'll also use regular unstripped jungle logs as a nice accent inside of the wood as well, which could be fun. So we'll just have wood in a few spots so that very clearly like this was built into the cave for the tiki bar vibe. And then we can go from there. I probably should do that over there too. Uh, you, you get to be that way just because I can. And then we'll put this, I need to go get more jungle wood. Well, thankfully it's raining. We can travel fast it, 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 with it raining. Yeah. Shh. I appreciate you saying that. 
Grace. And like, I know the people who, who are here, especially y'all who are watching the stream, 100%, like, y'all are my ride or die community. I know you're here for me, right? Well, when people are making videos about North, like, remaking North Korean Minecraft, which is a thing that I found out today, somebody made, somebody who has several people on their team, that video idea was proposed, approved, recorded, edited, reviewed. There was a thumbnail made for it. It went through several layers and several people and several safeguards. And that still got released by somebody with millions of subscribers. I kind of lost faith. <laughs> And I and and I asked myself and and I'm like you know what nah I'm good <laughs> I'm good doing what I do I think that's fine I think that's okay I saw that no that's the thing that's the thing that's the thing that I thought was photoshopped when I saw it first thing this morning um then I realized it wasn't photoshopped and then. I'm like, this has to be like a parody, like the people who make the fake Mr. Beast videos. Like the people who make the like, oh, I trapped a hundred children in school buses, pushing them off cliffs or something. Like I thought it had to be that, like somebody making fun of all of those X a hundred player. Nope, told completely straight. I don't have words for that. I, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'll have words for that. I got nothing. <laughs> I, I was beyond speechless. Actually, let me rephrase. I have words for that. Those are not words that are appropriate to the content rating that I put on my own channel. How about that? Maybe that's a better way to say what I really want to say. I, I, I have words for it. I can't say them on my channel. <laughs> it's just like you're ooh, I don't know like uh, whenever that whenever something like that comes up it is it does always make it weird to be like yeah that's my job <laughs> ooh yeah uh, but at least it was Lord of the Rings here's the thing though right like even if you're doing like I'm doing XYZ government type like that's at least potentially is like a bit of an analysis on personal behavior the video I saw and the way that that video was presented is not that the video I saw and the way that that video was presented is 100% what you see is what you get the title is the concept there's no parody, there's no twist, there's nothing like that. And all and the circus music is not for me in this situation. It is for the person who made that video. They are bad and they should feel bad and they know what they did. Right? Right? But like <laughs> it is just see, for once the playlist new and it's not for me. You're gonna start using those fake Mr. Beast videos for villain plots. That would Honestly, be smart. Okay, come on. Playlist has playlist timing. The playlist was on it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. That went right through their face. Come here. There we go. We're done. The playlist knew what it needed to do. Hello. Welcome in. Of course it knows when to troll someone, even when it's not me. But yeah, it was just... This seems like a circus music moment. Summon the playlist. Release the Spotify. <laughs> I wish I had that power. I was annoyed before I had the chance to be horrified. <laughs> That's a, there's the quote. I was annoyed before I had the chance to be horrified. Yeah, like, uh, y'all, this job is weird. This job is very weird and 
seeing that and having that be part of like technically the the, the industry I work in is just is a lot. Hey, I follow. Well, thank you, Chance. I appreciate it. Thank you for following. Now you're on both platforms. Okay, so we have jungle wood now. We can actually work on the walls. I actually want to set up like I want to from the beginning set up a bunch of columns to have to work around. Because if you were building in in this in this situation, you wouldn't have a choice over where your supports had to go. So I'm going to do that right yeah. now and I'm going to build those out first. Mayoko! Thank you so much for remembering. I appreciate it. Where is the book? Where is the book? There's the book. There we go. M-Y. Okay. Oh. Uh, I, it doesn't have your streak. But I know you've been a member before. So I'm just going to put it in as the M until you tell me how many months. And then when I raise the black flag. So right. Nope. Right here. Two, and then cool, and then that can then pull across. I like that. Then we'll get more of a cave entrance here, right? And then we'll be fine. There we go. I like this. This, this is good. This is good. This works for us. <coughs> Nether 100 days video happens. <coughs> I'll be the appropriate amount of honor. It's part, uh, it would be funny and better if it's part of a meta narrative storyline. Uh, granted, I don't think real life events. No, no, not really. Theoretically, if I were to make a command, it would add a mandatory inventory chest management command. No, I wouldn't add the ability to make me sort my inventory as a command. That is too much power. I appreciate you all, but I don't want to give you all that much power. That feels dangerous to me personally and to the way that I play this game. <laughs> so we'll do that and then we'll do like this and we'll add a little bit of cobblestone right there. Do I still have? I do. Perfect. That can go there. Two, one, two. That, there, that, there. Oh, perfect. That was just enough. Nice. That This is actually working because it gives me what I was hoping for. Right? Learning some program coding. Tried to learning with free programs online. They left me more confused. Learning the program is entirely useful. Right? It's amazingly useful. But. Now this might be. I think a lot of courses. Courses will help you learn how to learn how to program. Yes. I repeated myself for a very intentional reason. For the same reason that college teaches you how to learn, which I think is very useful, in addition to teaching you some of your fundamentals for your major, you can't beat experience. So if you want to start coding or start programming, just start playing around. Uh, it does, and it doesn't have to be insurmountable either. Your goal should not be make a full game the entire way. That doesn't work. Just learn, like, how do I say hello world? How do I put a box in the world? How do I move that box? How do I jump? How do I do all these things? And I think I'm probably subconsciously quoting a pirate software short or something. Just because if there's anything programming and it's on YouTube, I've heard Thor's beautiful voice speaking about it. Um, <laughs> so that might be a thing. I don't know. But, like, it is, it is a... It is always just a set of small steps. That's all you need to do. And then you can work your way through it. Dicey, thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate it. That's very kind of you. Uh, what should I do? My friend's birthday is on Valentine's Day. Should I give him a Valentine's Day present or a birthday present or both? Valentine's Day has very specific connotations, though. Depending on how you feel, that might answer your question. But I don't have a good answer for you one way or another. Uh, that is entirely your own decision there. So I, I thoroughly suggest uh, thinking about that 
and then depending on what you want, then you can kind of get an idea of what you might, what kind of gift you might want to buy. Just keep that in mind. That's all I'm saying. Just keep that in mind. Keep, hey, Dennis, you finally made it for a live. Hello, welcome in. Glad you're here. We can put that there. You turn 30 on the 14th. You're getting old. Lady, I'm right there with you. I had a conversation with somebody today, and we were talking about a potential, a potential something that we're, we potentially want to do. <clears throat> and it was, oh yeah, because we're, don't forget, we're on the older side for YouTube. And, and the person I'm talking to is like, yeah, I'm turning 37. And I'm like, yep, turning 36. I'm right there behind you. So don't, don't hold up too much there. Okay, old timer. Uh, that was fun. It was a fun conversation. Most projects are a journey of small, tiny steps. What, if you do them in a manageable way, yes, they are. It can feel insurmountable when you do them the other way around, which is why it sometimes feels impossible to be able to do certain things, which can be daunting. Put that there. Okay. This feels like a good start for the Tiki Ball. Tiki Bar, right? Uh... Mini, uh, long time YouTube viewer, finally moved yourself over to Twitch. Always a lot of your content, even better to be able to now catch the lives. Well, thank you. I'm live on uh, YouTube as well. So if that's the platform you prefer to stream on or prefer to watch streams, you're totally fine. <coughs> I appreciate it. So yeah, raid is a raid. Yes, don't go talking about how many people come into the raid. The raid is a raid. I appreciate anybody who's willing to trust me with their community after their own streaming. That's what matters, right? Have you asked Wife Gunda to be a Valentine? time yet oh no i'm in trouble no i think i'm fine i'm okay about to turn 16 yeah keep keep personal info in mind y'all especially like if you're on the younger side don't you don't need to talk about that or anything else i only mention it because as a full-blown adult i'm fine like and i know i'm fine but just keep it in mind especially if you're on the younger side like don't be sharing your age in chat that should be private info because you're you're potentially just opening yourself up to people being inappropriate or 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 being just creepy, and and you don't you don't want that you don't want to deal with that, right? Just keep keep that in mind whenever you're sharing anything online, even here in what is hopefully a relatively safe space on the internet. It's just something you always want to keep in mind. You always want to try to secure your own information. Be private whenever you want to be private. Keep keep things just as public as you want them and not much more. And that's that's the best kind of advice I can give. Just keep that in mind. Always something to keep in mind. Alright, we can close this off now. And we're out of cobblestone, so that works. Do we have sand? No. Butts. Alright. Uh, actually, some dripstone would probably be cool right here. I'm not going to lie. That would probably be very nice. Really hope you love me. Love me too. Yeah, let's... I think this works. Now, what do we build the floor out of for this tiki bar space? I think the bar itself should be bamboo. Right? How long have you been playing Minecraft? Yes. When was uh, when was beta? When was the Nether added? Two updates before that. <laughs> so it's been a hot minute, as I like to say. <clears throat> Sand is your least favorite block in the entire game. My, I mean, yes, it can be frustrating, but you can't just hate it outright. You're limiting yourself far too much with that out with that outlook. When he covers the iron and the hoarder in me tears up. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. I can I can fix this. Where 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 did I cover it up? Oh, right here. Okay, sorry. Hold on. There we go. Get that. We can fill in the gaps right there. Oh. Okay, we'll have to do that. Cool. Let's just awesome. Uh, cool. There we go. That way it's, it's not covered up anymore, so you're fine. Aesthetics, thank you very much for the 20 gifted memberships. Again. What the heck? That is very, very, very kind of you. Sand makes glass. Trading makes glass. 
You don't need that. Mangrove. Ooh, mangrove would be good. Uh, we back, baby. <laughs> I did a boost it. Thank you. That's a lot. That's, that's very, very kind of you. Uh, I probably should... Yeah. So the bar area is going to be back here. I actually kind of want to do it out of bamboo. I'm not going to lie. Right? Like... I think bamboo would work for the area. So we're going to do that. We'll get some cartography tables and a couple other things. Uh, but let's do... Let's do this. Right? Uh, let's do that. And then let's get some of that. And then... Let's get some of that as well. And we'll drop the die right off. And we'll turn some of that into slabs as well. And oh my goodness, this is getting very crowded in my inventory. So we can grab that. So if we set the bar up... Oh, this is going to be a problem because... they can't do hanging signs off of that then. Oh, okay. Crud. I might have messed up here. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, bar... Bar top right here. All right. We'll get a bamboo. We'll get bamboo trapdoors. We'll get that there. Okay, so this lantern will have to move. And then... Nope. Not what I meant to do. No. Ah! Not again. This, this is very pixel annoying to put that gives us a bit of a frame to work with this is what day off aesthetics does make stools with a red carpet on top uh i'm thinking we're gonna use scaffolding with a carpet on top to make the chairs that because that'll work a lot better right we get some barrels and some brewing stands over here we have what looks like an entrance to a little kitchen space over here a mangrove floor i i agree I think a mangrove floor here would look good. I also think a dark prismarine floor would look good. I think dark prismarine is probably the vibe because that's gonna give a very deep green accent to what is essentially like an orange and light brown kind of vibe to the overall color palette. So it'll, it'll mix it up, right? I uh, loved it with curse board. Couldn't get it to run on Prism. I love it. A bit of advice you can manage to start. Wait, hold on. Sorry, I, I missed a bit of a conversation back and forth. Creeps, get the get the hell out of chat. I'm breaking your knees. Yes, totally fine. Um, okay, hold on. What did Jester say? It's so cool. I want to play that. Uh, started to play on the chunk by chunk world, and you started in cherry biome. Sick. That's awesome. And Milami, thank you for this for the the watch streak. The chunk. I actually just found out a, a creator friend of mine is playing on Chunk by Chunk right now, uh, which is a lot of fun. It is very cool to know and like to see friends play that too, which is very cool. I'm hyped about that. All right, we can drop that there. Okay, we're gonna need Dark Prismarine. I also am just gonna need chests. Uh, let's just get barrels while we're at it because we have them right here. We can have a couple barrels embedded into the wall, because that will work. We'll put one vertically right there. This will probably, this should probably be a double chest. Hold on. Um, actually. <laughs> yes, that's a vibe. Okay, hold on. No, I don't need that there. Boop, six, eight, no, yes. More slabs, please, because this is going to make these very easy to craft. Like, insanely easy to craft. Uh, that is, that is, that. This is good. Okay, then we put brewing stands up there. I think that'll work. We hang some lanterns. We do a couple other things. It'll be nice. We need bamboo trapdoors. Do I remember this scenario? Yep. Okay. Let's do this. 
Nope, not that. Nope, not that either. Yes, that one. <clears throat> Are you excited for the new auto crafters? Intensely. Intensely so. Like, genuinely, I think the new autocrafters are potentially, in my mind, one of the biggest additions to Minecraft full stop. I mean, it is the industrial age. It is a massive new addition. And I think that's going to be able to add so much more to the game. So much more. All right. Hold on. I can put that mud brick elsewhere. Let's just put all the woods away right here for right now. And then we can just fly away. And we can get things cleaned up. We're using a lot of bamboo in this area. Honestly. And I'm kind of here for it. I have not been building with it. We could also use mud brick in this build. I just realized that. That is another thing that we have the option to do. I don't know if we would. But we could. And we also have all those campfires to play with. We need mangrove wood. Uh, looks like we're, we're taking a trip. You missed, you missed hearing about auto crafters? Oh my goodness, it's insane. It is, it is fully automatic crafting. It is game changing in so many different ways. Okay, we'll put that there. Uh, two and a three. I can go there and ow. Oh, hello. I'll deal with you in a minute. Excuse me. Yeah, don't mind me. Sugar cane farm, so I just need to make paper. I know, right? Like, okay, uh, shaders off. Orient myself. It's not there, it's over here. And I think it's the one on the path, which will make nice. Okay. Grandchildren, why is there a random ender dragon? Hi-Fi Games, uh, go check out my video of trapping the dragon in the overworld. That's a lot of fun. Tough is a spicy topic. I'm upset that they rotated the tough texture. All they had to do was move it over by one. Ooh. All they had to do was move it over by one pixel and it would have been fine, right? Copper bulbs and redstone. Copper bulbs and redstone is amazing. Please make them one tick again, Mojang. Like, I'm not smart enough to know what this all means, but I know that the redstone people are want want them to be one tick again. And I have a decent sized audience. Maybe they'll listen. Who knows? Right? Like, holding Java Edition back because of Bedrock, uh, the way Bedrock Redstone work, is the wrong choice, in my opinion. I would very much rather see all of these cool builds that people were making to be able to do really cool stuff. Please let me have that. Right? And, and I fully defer to smarter people than me as far as why that's a good thing, but I'll build the things that they tell me to build because they're smart. <laughs> and I know, I know my lane. Hello. Eh. No, leave me alone. I need my bow out. And, oh, my bow's not in great shape either. Came up out of the river and shot them like I was so calm or something. What would you recommend for biomes and plants in world gen having trouble finding good ones? The thing is, there's so many mods that really, really, really change the game. But they add a ton of blocks with them usually. Which is going to cause you a lot of just like kind of choice paralysis, which is, it could be great. You can come up with some really unique builds, but it does sometimes make things not fun. Drop that. That's useful for me. Anders with the $20. What is DKK? I don't know. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you very much. Your very first super chat ever. Thank you very much. That is very kind of you. Anders L with the 20 20 DKK. I don't know what that is, but thank you. Handling parody right as a whole. Bedrock has great features, job is not a remove for parody as well. Right? That's the thing. I wish they would add the best of both, but it doesn't seem like that's the approach that they're taking. 
and instead they move towards the lowest common denominator, which is not great. Like, I, I love this game. I love Minecraft. I think part of the reason I, I love Minecraft as much as I do is because I'm very good about playing modded experiences to make me also appreciate vanilla what it is. And sometimes vanilla upsets me. Right? Ha! Flee with extra flea! Ah. Na Look at that! My bow degree is on it! Mojang, let's rotate it by 180 degrees, right? Yeah, right? Like, I wish because it would have been nice to have a block texture with the two small ones on top. That's what made it unique. It was just off by one pixel. But instead they rotated it and now it's the exact same texture and just a slightly different shade of gray. And it's like, oh, that, it, it hurts a little bit to see what we perceive or what I perceive as the better implementation sometimes get left behind. And it's a bit of a bummer. You can just extinguish campfires. You can do that. That is, that is a thing that you can do in Java, which is nice. We're going to need a lot of logs to be able to floor that whole space. Then again, I did say Dark Prismarine, but we're going to do both. Maybe we'll do that. I do think we need some, some mangrove, but I think we might also use Dark Prismarine in a couple spots there. Actually, no. Tiki Bar, Tiki Bar would be a wood floor, right? We should commit. I'm committing. We used mangrove floor in the library as well, so we might have some mangrove wood back there. Okay. Nice, we have a nice little combat, combat evening. Oh. I still got it. Oh, you moved. <clears throat> Your inventory gives me anxiety. I'm building! I'm in the middle of something. I'm in the middle of something. I've been busy. I'm sorry. Twinian, ever since I stumbled upon your channel seven months ago, you managed to keep me out of a pretty dark place. So thank you for being like, keep me going. That is an amazing pun, and I appreciate you more just for that alone. Right? Community you build is so loving, and so glad you found a call at home. Much support, big O's up, and little dog biscuit. Thank you. In the book, with the 1500 bits. Thank you so much. And I am 1500 bits. Die, die, die. How wholesome. Die, die. No. <laughs> I mean, they're fine. We haven't actually just spent a night going out and fighting, so I'm kind of here for this. It's been a while. There we go. Get over here. It's a good one. Uh, really just random mobs. Alright, we can go back to harvesting trees. I've done I've done murder all night. I think we we've we've appeased the blood god. We can go back to trees. The phantoms are probably going to spawn again in a second. We'll deal with those. That's fine. Came for the Minecraft, stayed for the wholesome. <laughs> well, there you go. That's the true vibe. That's the true secret. Wholesome murder. Wholesome murder. It's fine. That's perfectly wholesome. Are you a Minecraft Whoa. fence? Because I can't seem to get over you. All right, save your pickup lines for somebody that you actually have have a shot with come Valentine's Day. And I say that only because I'm married. All right, there we go. Uh, 20 with the three months as well. Also, shout out 
Uh, to shadow three months, kill the zombies. Yes, thank you. Ah, oh, nope. Eh. Wrong key. Boop boop. Three. Done. Phantoms dead ahead. Fast and low. I should really break all of that too because we said we were gonna need that for the build as well. So let's just collect this while we're at it. I know the phrase is Banshee's fast and low, but it kind of works. A phantom is another is another ship in Halo. Yeah. What the? Violet! Gifting it, gifting two tier one subs. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. This is very kind of you. Book. O L E B I O L E T. Violet Vox. I said I was almost gonna say Vex for a second. So, but thank you so much for the two gifted. Right? Uh, nobody wants Mrs. Gunner to have a chance. <laughs> Fellas. <laughs> Is it wrong to be dedicated to your wife? Oh no. That's not how it works, hi fi. I talk with everybody on chat, but if you only come on chat to get me to say your name, then it doesn't feel like you're actually here to talk. Okay, so. Hello! Thank you very much, Violet. It's very kind of you. Okay. Yeah. Fly. Fly, my pretties. Fly. Okay. We'll, we're going to need probably like, what, two stacks of mangrove wood to, to do the floor for that space? Oh, uh, why do I do this to myself? Why do I choose rare materials for floors? First mud and now mangrove? Like, what was I thinking? I don't have a good automated way of getting either of them. Okay. There. Come here. The roasted the roasted meat trees. The medium rare medium rare trees. The good news is like each tree gives a whole bunch of logs, right? Bad news is they are annoying to be able to actually harvest towards. B? Sill? Uh, 24. I don't need the leaves. I have more than enough mangrove leaves. <laughs> more than enough. Uh, let's take the propagules home because you never know. They might come in handy. So annoying to chop down is your least favorite. Yeah. Thank you, Story. Very kind of you. Y'all are y'all are too good. Give yourselves more credit, right? Y'all are good people. <laughs> that's that's uh, give yourself more credit. That's fine. This is one thing y'all can brag about. Uh, I'm doing pretty good, Blip. How about yourself? We're just getting some wood to work on our tiki bar for our pirate cove. That's part of our ancient city of Atlantis. So that. That's taken several steps. It is kind of weird to explain how all these parts do work together. Anything? No? How do you like your steak? Medium rare. Yes. Actually, I'm more of a just straight up medium person. Because I've had some times where I'll order a medium rare steak. And it comes out still mooing. And I'm, I'm not about that, right? Like... I, I am all for a well, like, good medium rare steak, right? But it, mm, I've had that go too bad. So I've gotten into a habit if I'm ever out and about ordering. Thank you for whoever just gifted a sub to Storykeeper. Thank you. Uh, ghost X1. <laughs> There's a ghost there. So, like, if I'm out and about, at a place that I don't know. I'll order medium, just just medium, flat medium. And that's normally pretty good. Sometimes it comes out a little bit more on the rare side, so then that's okay, right? Like, 
cool. I got a medium, I got a nice medium rare steak. Sometimes it comes out a little bit more on the medium well side. Even then, that's okay. If you order medium well, sometimes you'll get shoe leather. If you order medium rare, sometimes it'll still be mooing, basically. I figure if you just go medium, it's pretty safe. About as far as like guaranteed a good steak. So that so I've just gotten to that point where I'll eat medium. Ms. Gundo has to eat her steak a little bit more cooked because the way that she counts her uh, her macros. So she has to have it slightly more on the medium well side. So me being just a little bit off in, in cooking helps it a little bit be easier. Holly, thank you so much for 15 months. That's very kind. Not hello. Holly, 047. Uh, 15 months. Y'all, we're almost off of page two again. Steak popsicles. Ooh. Ooh, I don't need that image. Why would you put that there? Right? The correct steak temp is blue? No. Ooh. Don't. No. Why? Steak tartare with egg. Okay. I guess. Sure. If you're going that direction. Okay. But, like, if you're. If, like. If you want a cooked steak or a grilled steak and it comes out a little too underdone, it's usually just someone could not to grill it right. And I've been I've been that someone who times, which is the thing. Don't forget to Hulk smash that. Uh, Papa Crafter, hello, buddy. Just wanted to drop in and show support. <clears throat> thank you so much for the $2 super chat. And Wolven Mother, don't forget to Hulk smash the like button. Thank you. Uh, a, a crafter with the two dollars and Wolven, you are the first on page three with another two dollar super chat. Thank you so much. Steak pop tarts. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh. I don't like that. Ooh. Elvin panic with the gifted sub as well. Are y'all just front loading because you know I'm out for two weeks? Like. You're very kind. I left your order food. Why are we talking about steak? Because we started talking about steak. I've been told you saw a beat. Yeah, still. Hold on. You're over here. Uh, where where was B? B. I I swore I saw B. B. Somewhere. Somewhere around here was a B. I don't remember where. You were really far from a potential home. But it was like somewhere basically right here. I don't remember. B. Parkour. Nailed it. Are you a fan of ribs? Really good, well, really good ribs. Yes. Oh my god. I have this recipe for like a uh, dry rub St. Louis style ribs. So good. Right? It's like, I say dry rub. There's so much like minced garlic as part of the rub that it's like kind of a paste, basically. Right? So good. Right? Boston cream pop tarts. That's the thing? Everyone keep hitting on meat pastries. Here's the thing. If you're talking to meat pastry like a meat pie that's cooked to be a meat pastry, that's fine. If you're trying to shove a cheesesteak in a Pop-Tart, you got problems and you need religion. Okay? <laughs> There's differences to those two, those two things, while sounding the same, are very much not the same. <laughs> okay? They are not the same. <laughs> BXR for the $2 super chat. Thank you. <laughs> right? <clears throat> Religion fail me. I made my own. It's about soup and meat pop tart. All right, I quit. <laughs> you need a religion. And apparently Vega is the bishop. So, or the deacon or executor. I don't know. What, what, what title did you give yourself when you started your own religion? I'm not sure. Have you, have you franchised yet? Because if you haven't franchised, it, High Priestess. Okay, good. If you haven't franchised, it is still just a cult. Uh, so that's the thing. You need to work your way up to franchising before it's actually a religion. Right? 
If you're still only in one location, it is just a cult. So you got to work your way up to full religion. Part of the soup, part of the stew. Why meat pop tarts? I don't know. They just got weird. <laughs> I don't know. Chat, y'all just got weird for a little bit. Deep fried bologna sandwiches. I also had that as a kid. Yup, that was the thing. Okay, so uh, let's turn that much into planks right away. I did not need these leaves. Time to litter in the lake. And then, have you tried squid? I cannot get myself to eat squid. Uh, that is that is one one of the things. Like I tried it once. I tried it once, and I'm like, okay, cool. I've checked this off the list. I've done the thing I promised to do. My child cannot call me a hypocrite for not eating things at least once. I never have to do that again. Ugh, no, I, I, I can't. I can't do it again. All right, come on, give me the beacon. What are you building? We are building a tiki bar. Tiki bar slash pirate tavern. A bit of both. Also, I am thinking, and I would love if there's violent opinion on this, one way or the other. Uh, I think when we come back, I'm going to add invisible item frames onto onto the world I think I think it's time I want to be able to do some more decoration and some specific things in here and I think having invisible item frames I don't think I'm gonna add head like player heads or mob heads just yet I don't think I'm there yet but I think I think invisible item frames make sense right uh it's 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 been I've been thinking about it. They add so much. I feel like a wizard when I make the cookies. I like invisible item frames opens up a lot of options. Because then we can put like like a slime ball and some shovels on the, the ground right there. A debug stick. No. No, I'm not gonna take it that far. All right? Uh boop. And then offhand this. Wait, what? Oh. It's this way. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I've been debating it for a while about adding it to the world. Just thinking about it, like, on and off. And for a while, I was thinking like, I didn't want to do it because I didn't want the world to be anything less than fully, fully, fully vanilla. I was just thinking about it more and more. And as I've been thinking about it, I'm like, eh, you know what? It kind of makes sense. Let's just have it have it be a, a thing that I could then decorate, decorate and play around with a lot more. Whoa. So we'll do a Cenex. What the heck? With a nut, I'm just gonna copy the line because you've done it three times this stream. Gonna be any cults in particular? Wait, are there any cults in particular in the tavern of yours? Not quite yet, right? It is. It. I mean, it is technically Lagundo's tavern, but I hadn't planned specifically any cults. At least not yet. I'm not gonna lie. I actually like the mangrove un. I'm not gonna lie, I like the mangrove unstripped for this floor. I think this actually looks better. Oh no, what did I do? I really like this floor. I really like this floor without the stripped. I think it's really good. I'm not gonna lie, like genuinely. That looks like really good, like, this is Tiki Bar vibes. This is exactly what I was hoping for. 
Okay, so we're gonna need to go get more. This is honest. It looks rustic and waterlogged. Exactly what a pirate tavern tiki bar looking thing should be. And then I think we strip these. Then I think we strip the beams. <coughs> because if not, it's too many wood textures all at once, right? But this actually works. I think this is the approach. We do this instead. Yeah. That, because then that actually works out nicely. Oh, come on. There we go. Looks like the parquet floor. You can just strip as the border around the base of the bar. I like that. I like that idea. So this way, all of this isn't wasted. And we can still have like a couple planks here and there to give some texture in a couple spots, right? Uh, drop the stone, collect all of this. So I'm gonna need to go get like another stack or something. That's unfortunate. Eh. Okay, okay, honestly, this kind of works. I can go there, harvest this out. We use that below the bar. And then we need to just get that for above. That's okay. What version complementary shade did you have? It's just the one you're using, I can't quite tell. Uh, I think it's uh, V4.1. I can just turn them on and off to get the message to be able to tell you. So yeah, it's just complementary V4. Uh, so we can drop that in. So let's just do like a couple bits of red wood and thing. Pop Crafter, thank you for the dollar super chat as well. I appreciate it. Uh, P -A -P -A. Uh, for the one dollar as well. Picked chips. Wait, what? What did I miss? Coal. Don't need that. Okay, another stack or so. What can we decorate in the meantime? Okay, uh, let's go get some cartography tables, probably a couple more barrels, a couple other things. Brewing stands. Brewing stands would be very important here and some probably some crip wire hooks around the barrels. Uh, yeah, we got options. Okay, so uh, Now that I have the invisible item frames though, I'm thinking like oh that's gonna be able to let me make a very cool looking menu So I'm genuinely very excited for potentially having invisible item frames in this world very soon that will be very cool because then you can put like bottles on the tables and stuff like oh my god uh didn't SNX resub on YouTube because you did X20 or is the alert just broken? Uh, the gifted memberships on YouTube is not properly reporting out. So it should be doing a gift event, but it's doing a sub event. That's actually not my alert being broken. That's the YouTube API sending the wrong thing. It's actually something that they put documentation on about like, yes, we know that this is broken. We will be fixing it in an upcoming update. So funny enough, that's YouTube being busted, not me, for a change. Which is kind of funny, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, which is is so random, but turns out that is actually a thing that's wrong. So we'll do that. Okay, I think I have a plan. Did you break YouTube? Not you specifically, but like, YouTube is a little broken in this regard. This tavern's gonna look so cool. I already love the profile of it from like up here. You look down and you see this, like you look down into the area and you see this kind of space down here. What's this about? This is gonna be cool. Ah, oh, this is gonna be cool. Okay. Uh, we can put a couple bells, one there, one there, because why not? We'll have two, the, the, 
barrels here need taps. We'll get some cups via clay pots, which will be fine. Uh, a chest, probably right there, just to provide a little bit of clutter. <coughs> uh, Sketch Gamer, how you doing? Welcome in. AKA, that's not my problem. No, I, not, I mean, yeah, I guess kind of, kind of I am saying that in a, in a way, which is funny, but yeah. Okay, so uh, let's do birch for the seating because we can. That, that can go there and make a bunch of birch signs. That can go there and... No, maybe? Eight, 12, perfect. That can all be signs now. So that's fewer things to have to worry about. Now, if we wanted to be really particular, we could not put flooring underneath wherever we put tables. But if I ever want to redecorate this space, the last thing I'd want to do is have to redo the flooring. So we're not, I'm not gonna do that just because that would upset me, I'm not gonna lie. I'd be very mad at past me whenever that would come in, come into play. So that would go there. We're gonna need tables. What do I do the tables with? I had spruce trap doors, but I also have a bunch of bamboo. I think I'm gonna do, this might be a little weird. So bear with me for a few seconds, right? Let's just make one loom because you never know. You always need a couple things. Um, this might be a little weird. So bear with me for a few seconds, okay? No. <laughs> I, I do like just that little bit of a support. We could put sea lanterns behind that. Oh, we could put the frog lights behind there so that that's glowing. Barrels make good tables. Barrels do make good tables, but you know what else would make for an interesting table? There you go. That is an interesting looking table. Because then we can put stuff on top of it with the item frames and it will look floating. There we go. That can go there. I like this. It is very mess upable, <clears throat> for lack of another word. Because boots in real life don't have armrests. It's just a chair. It's just something to give it the semblance of a chair. That that's that's the whole vibe. It's like we all want it to be a chair or something that feels like a chair. So these are gonna be tricky, but I can I can do something about those. We can put fence gates in between. Those will make for nice internal railings. Continuing the Vault Hunters 100 days? Probably not given the fact that I have the Vault SMP world. So I don't really need to continue that Vault Hunters 100 days right now. This works and then a nice, this will be like a nice kind of like interior like, uh, no, this doesn't work. Uh, one, two, three, three. Need a little bit more, a little bit more birch wood. <coughs> but yeah, I, I, all of the hundred, like, especially since Vault Hunter's third edition has come out, and that very first one was done in first edition, and third, in my mind, is a, an astounding improvement on the original game that we were given, right? V Vault Hunter's V1 is kind of an unforgiving grind fest, I'm not going to lie. Like, I understand how people came to like it, even I did, near the end, but man, that can be unforgiving. So... I don't know. Probably not that one. I might do like another another take on it or take on something Vault Hunters at some point in the future, but I don't know. Grab that. Get some more stairs. 
Open fireplace. Ooh, that could be an idea. Like with some meat roasting over it. I, I might blow this wall out, put it back, and put a fire pit back there. <clears throat> Why no more scenarios? I no longer see eye to eye with the other people involved in the group, and we couldn't agree on how to move forward. That is the simplest and most polite way of talking about it, and I really don't want to talk about it more. I'm not going to lie. It, it, it's something we've had. I've had to kind of go over quite a bit, actually. But, yeah, we no longer see eye to eye on how certain things should run. So that's kind of it. That can go there. We can put like a little bit like that. So there's some like dead bush kind of vibes right here. Leaves and uh, parrots behind the walls to make ropes. So what we could do is we could have scaffolding with a bamboo trap underneath and put the parrots inside of the inside of the cage and have them hanging from the ceiling. And I think that'll be a vibe. All right, let's go get the remaining mangrove wood that we need. Uh, we have the inventory space for it. Oh, here, let's let's put down the one loom that I was gonna put down somewhere. Just just for visual like activity, right? Just so that there's things happening. Uh, we'll put it right there next to the crafting table. Just wanted to know, but gotta go. That's fine. It's all good. Sorry, I I do apologize. It, it's unfortunate. I don't like how it all went down, but it happened. Like the scenarios that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. One day, further out, I might talk about it more. I'm not talking about it now. They're all happy, it looks like. So they're they're working on their next project. Good for them. Oh, my PC. One of my favorite scenarios is how I found your channel. That's fine. I'm sorry. It is a bummer. But I have I have other things I have planned that should hopefully fill that void. Are you from Canada? Because I can't live without you. Uh, no, actually. Sorry. Okay. Boop, boop. What do we need? About a stack, we said? Probably. Hey, Russell. Hey, Lillian. Sorry. How are you? I read the username and I read the last name first. Yeah. Here's 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 all I'll say, everybody. If I was still having fun, I wouldn't relax. Okay. There's re nobody leaves in the middle of a good thing. Let's just leave it at that, okay? Please. Okay. So, getting the remainder of. The wood for the floors. What uh, what are other things we can put in here that would sell the barkeep tavern vibe? I know some cartography tables would probably do. Some bookcases as well. What else? I mean, probably a map, right? Like, just a map. Why do we not think about just doing a map? <laughs> right? Like just a big map on one of the walls. That could be fun. Potions on item frames. Once I add invisible item frames data pack, I think that's gonna let me do some really cool decoration with a few items like that. So I'm actually kind of excited about that. It's something I've debated adding to the world for the longest time. And I haven't because I'm like, oh, people won't think it's vanilla anymore. I had a conversation recently with somebody about like what's vanilla and they're like, yeah, vanilla, but with the things that you'd expect, like invisible item frames, X, Y, and Z, and I'm like, you know what? That's fair. I should just use that in my hardcore world now because it's it's the things people expect. It's like vanilla plus the tools to make something really cool. So that's why I'm gonna I'm gonna add it to the hardcore world. That'd be fun. How long was that missing? Hmm. I think I might have left some. I left some logs behind on the last log. I'll we'll have to go check that in a second. Uh, frames map. Skeleton heads. Ooh, skeleton heads is a good call. Parrots as well. I like that. I like that vibe. I need to get parrots. 
don't think I have any parrots. Ooh, getting parrots back to... That's gonna actually... Actually, no, that won't be too tough because we do have a jungle, right? Like, we do live basically in the middle of several jungles. So that's probably fine. We're probably fine. It's fine. Grab. Open fire pit, yes, I like that idea. It's like an open barbecue kind of pit vibe. That could be fun. I drop all of those. That should be more than enough. Ow. Food. You made a stream, yes. Scavenger hunt the pit starts there and brings you out. Ooh, who knows that, mmm. <laughs> like I said, once again, texting and flying. I'm reading my phone, right? Can we see what you bring us next? Yep. That's the thing. Like, now I have time to work on extraction, and I'm very, I'm very hyped for what extraction can bring. Like, both as a public server and as an event that I'll be able to run. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so hyped. Now here, uh, what are you doing? I'm taking the family on vacation. It's gonna be fun. I need, I need just a couple of these. Just two. Right? But yeah. You should buy a buried treasure map. So I actually found out you can put that X on a chest by just right click. Sorry, you can put that X on a map by right clicking a chest. Did you know that that was a thing? Did you know, did anybody know that that was a thing? Like, oh, hello. What's up? what you got? Nothing good. Hi. Can you get down here, please? Eh. Boop. Boop. Question you said you're moving away for 100 days, so what's the next step for the channel? Being able to make more stuff. Like, I'm not gonna get rid of making 100 days videos. They, they keep the lights on, right? Um, but I wanna be able to make more and different things. And the series that's gonna start this weekend is the first step of that. And I hope, I hope ones that will go really well, like, I'm hoping, fingers fingers crossed, right? Like if it all, if this all does what I'm hoping it'll do, it is an entirely new type of content I can put out. Actually, not even new type, but just a new way of framing a story that I can put out that uh, opens up a lot of opportunities. It opens up a lot that we can do fun in the edit that doesn't make sense or you can't do in a 100 days video because of how I don't, yeah, formulaic, those videos kind of have to be, to be successful. I think that could be a lot of fun. Lava flow behind a glass wall would be very tiki vibes too. Do not know about putting an X on a map though. It's very cool. Here, I'll show it to you. So let's get that all done. So that's the floor. And honestly, that is pristine for what I was hoping for. Uh, so let's mine out these two. Where's those two frog lights? Close that, and then we can put that there. Look at that, it's a tiki lamp. <laughs> we could do lava as well, but I think that that's probably more of a tiki lamp kind of vibe. What do you think? Have a good stream, see you later Blip, thank you for popping in. Evil and I for the extraction events. Uh, I mean, there's gonna be a public server, which is just gonna be up and available and online. If you're a supporter of the channel in any way, you are gonna help beta test it. So it will be available for beta testing very, very soon, honestly. Like the map is coming along. All the POI are mainly finished. We have a couple other things that just need to get done. And then there will be a beta testing version of the map and plugin and server. Uh, Probably by the first week of March is the goal, is to be able to have the thing actually playable, that people can start really taking part in it. So I am genuinely excited for what that looks like.
I think it's gonna be really great. I I want a bunch of cyan. Ah, wool. No. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Map plugin. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Extraction is gonna be a ton of fun. I I am I'm genuinely so hyped for it. Let me, let's just put all the woods back in here again. So we can kind of contain everything here. I don't need, I don't need this, 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 or that. Oh yeah, Jasmine is very far away. I don't like that. <laughs> Gotta go, what kind of server are you starting? It's a fun one. Really want the scoop on scenarios even if it's not very juicy. Short version, we no longer get along. I didn't want to make, I like, I asked for things to change. I was told no. Cool. There's the short version. I think that's all I should need to say, y'all. We should make a mushroom island village. That could be fun. Uh, that. To there. Ah, no, jump boost. Give me jump boost back, I need it. Give me jump boost back, I need it. Cool. Like on the SMP, yes, it'll be on like.gg. Which is genuinely very exciting. I don't like that that's, that needs to be lower. Okay, I need, I need an ender chest in here. Do I not have ender chests available anywhere? I should probably just craft up a stack of them, honestly. I'll tell you what. <laughs> let's just, let's just, yeah. Let's just solve our problem, shall we? Oh, I had one in my inventory. I didn't even notice. Are you kidding? I had one in my inventory. Oh, that's a bummer. I 100% I had that. I did not need to make that. Okay, let's get some cyan wool. Ow. And probably some white wool as well. Let's Let's mix up the colors a little bit. Uh, it will unfortunately likely not be bedrock friendly because it relies on a lot of interact events that are kind of dependent on having a mouse and keyboard, which is a thing, right? Lagundo not seeing stuff in his inventory. <laughs> oh, oh, fair. Fair, but I am mad at you. Fair, but I am mad at you. So, Instamine Wool. So nice. Another day, another life Let's grab all of this up. Alright, let's try this again. Okay. My that. So if I if I do it like this. Nope, not there. Three. So if we attach it to that corner. And then there. To there. Let me come in. To that. Actually, no, hold up. We just get the shape of this right. I think it could work. Get the shape figured out to here. I should probably put a torch or two up here just so nothing bad spawns, right? There you go. Last thing I want is a zombie spawning on top of this thing. Can you imagine? 
get absolutely obliterated by something just spawning in. Uh, not, not you then. To there? To there then? Come on! Eh. Let me pick it up! There we go. Two down here. Music sounds great. This one is made by the amazing Joshua Monday, aka Sierra, aka one of the editors here on the channel. Good, good friends. We can put this through here, and then we'll put. That. Nope. Also, nope. Oh my goodness, not having jump boost is killing me. There we go. How's that look? Thought, thought he was the editor. No, there's a couple. There's a couple who work on the channel. There's Sierra, there's Mudcat. Uh, and Beck has been doing a lot of the replay mod work on recent stuff, including the new series, which is awesome. So it's just building out and having a little bit, a little bit more backup in making certain things happen. Okay, let's do this, and then we can shovel these to close them. Sierra makes music. Yes. Oh no. Okay, thank God I had silk touch. Ow. Yes, Sierra does make music. Really good music. All of the decim score and the the decim character character beats and light motifs and all that is all Sierra and Ultra Nova as well. So like, thoroughly recommend seeing everything that he does to really make the make the stuff really pop. Uh, one, two. That works. Let's get some sand. The land, uh, but now adding stuff like treasure chests and shipwrecks is a neat little detail, or even mountains. Just more work for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Get buried in the water and wrapper. He looks around it like a flare effect. Uh, we told you to build a beacon. Yeah, but the beacons go inside of these towers. The beacons, the beacons go inside of these towers right here. They don't go inside the helixes. Whoa! The helixes are another thing. Truly. Thank you very much. Seven months of membership. That's a lot. Uh, truly M3L. Truly, not trily. Spelling. Spelling would be good. That would be a good thing to do, Legs, right? Yes. Seven. I can I can type. Um, you never know. Maybe it'll be their best video yet. Maybe I was holding everybody back. We'll see. Okay, some scaffolding, some sands. That's that's why I flew over here. I flew over here for sand and I completely forgot about it. Still thinking dripstone on the entrance? No, I think I'm gonna switch to some vines. Some some like some some glowing vines and some leaves potentially, and I think that's all I could potentially have to do. I need a tiniest bit of sand. Right? Been watching just when I able to say hi yet. Well hi! Named banners. Named banners are super useful. Okay, so. Oh, this is sandstone. Really? God, I suck at this. <laughs> A beachum. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty Whoa. good. I'll give that to you. Asenix, me saying I'm out isn't a reason to just give a month's worth of of memberships in one go. 50 gifted memberships. Like, what the heck, my friend? That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. That's a lot, like just a ton. Thank, thank you for the support. Thank you for everything. That's amazing. You get, you get a reserved table in here. Where's the, uh, where's, where's signs? 
Let's reserve a table. Uh, boop. We can just just one 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 ba hanging bamboo sign. There you go. Reserve table over there. That's a lot of gifted subs. I really th thank you. Put a pic of your tree farm uh, dome sign. Our channel. Yo, sick. I'll check it out. That's a lot. Third of the amount of people watching. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that tracks. This is this is very kind. I have a new Twitch sub on the twelfth. But today is the twelfth. It's prime sub. Oh yeah, prime subs are weird. You gotta wait until like the hour that you were subbed before it'll let you cancel. It's a it's it's an annoying thing that it does, but it is a thing that it still does. All right, so let's get all of these woods. I don't have the inventory space. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, let's just make a shulker box for woods. Considering we have all of this that we can safely collect in. I also need... Oh, trid a trident would be fun to like have it on a, an armor stand or something. That could be fun. <laughs> Alright, so we need a bunch of brewing stands. I know we have those. It's just a matter of going to get them. Thank you so much for the gift, Asenix, right? Like, it's still boosted has done more. You shush! That's still a lot, right? That's that's very, very, very generous and very, very, very kind of you, and thank you. I, I here, we'll put an employees only sign uh, door in place. Actually, no, because we're gonna put the fire pit back there. Uh, we can hang some vines off of stuff then. I need brewing stands. Hello, friends. Ooh, some bookcases. I can put those in the wall somewhere. Uh, more bells. There's a couple brewing stands. That's not a ton. There should be more. I really should do something with the sniffer eggs. We'll do something when we get back. We'll make a sniffer sanctuary finally. Brecken! Brand new channel member. Thank you so much. Uh, Brecken D with the brand new channel membership. Thank you so much. Fire pit should be on the beach. Oh, oh okay. Sorry. When you were saying fi open fire pit, I was thinking inside like the actual tavern itself is what you were suggesting so i i misunderstood that's on me sorry just checking to see because we should have more brewing stands than just two i should have way more brewing stands available here come on so here let's just make one black candle just because that'll be that's some pirate spookiness right there oh there's another one I was going to say, I should have at least a couple. Yep, 15 bells. Can you tell that I've been looting villages recently? Between streams? I meant inside. Thanks for the channel. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. 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 And no. I guess maybe I don't have as many as I thought I did. Huh. Or I put them in places. Which is also possible. Eh. Okay, so brewing stands would go here. Uh, here and here. Nope, not there. And here, just because that's fun. Right? Oh, that could be fun. I just got an idea. I, I just got an idea for something that that could be fun, but we'll we'll add that later. Uh, boop. Oh wait, I did have plans for the, I did have plans for that. Okay, but for right now, we'll just put some bookcases in there because why not? Actually, let's put them back by one because that's more interesting. We put that up by one. We put that there. I think that works nicely. 
little bit of cobble. Nah, we should extend the floor all the way out to it. Where's that? There we go. You. I like it. I like it a lot. I think that's good. Let's put those all there. That's a nice... Okay. Bit of vines we can put in like... In a couple spots right there. We can grow them on these blocks, which is fun because it gives you a nice little green and brown contrast. The only annoying thing is you can't grow them on campfires. Right? Which is a little... Uh... Annoying so we can just put it there and it'll grow out and around Probably like a spruce trap door right there. Just a small little bit of accents. We have a couple of them There we go just something to like carry that through yep. And we can do A couple spots just so it's not all like There you go just to add some like vertical depth to that and I think that that could work hang a lantern one there we should get chains where did I put the chains I think they're over here no no also no hello wish I didn't have to sleep sleeping sucks yeah it can but it's still nice I gotta make sure to get that chest out of there at some point in time. Jasmine is getting very far away from the island. She's gonna need to get pushed back. Yeah, this this should probably be down like two, maybe? Even? Well, this be a really low lantern. Then that could be up there. And we'll do one more right. There we go. I think the tavern's open. That's a good vibe. Vines grow to the side, yes. So now when we're up here, right? When we're up here, now that's part of the eye line that we're seeing as we're, as we're now like approaching into this area. I think that's, a vibe because you can tell that it goes out further than the water so it is out into the ocean so yeah like you said, okay so a map uh, a couple like I think I should just go out and find legitimate treasure maps and put those up here instead and then yeah a couple parrots in very specific spots so like um that and then we need hold on uh where's oh do i not have more bamboo trapdoors oh i do okay uh bop, bop. that and that can all break those can go up here and then where is the scaffolding no i have some oh and i had the one black candle just to put it on top of one of the tables, because that's a is that a pirate myth or is that a a different myth? I'm not, I might be conflating mythologies here. Tropical fish tank would look neat. That could be fun too. Tropical fish tank could be neat. But I'm also thinking that we can do this, and we have two parrots inside these little spaces that could be fun so we have two parrots hanging out right there which means we should probably put a jukebox somewhere in here honestly as well that could also be quite fun <laughs> we get any treasure maps that we get we just hang on the wall here so we just get a bunch of maps and any treasure maps that we find we hang on the wall here i think that's the play i don't think the tank goes in here because i have a plan for a tank to be a part of the main building right 
I, I have a plan for a tank to be a part of the main building. That being said, a tank, uh, like the treasure maps, that being there, and when we have invisible item frames, putting some items on the tables, I think that is, that is the play. That will make this all kind of, this work. Make the water flow in and fill the area after you make underwater breathing structures. I wouldn't want to flood my home. This is, this is my house. I don't want to flood my house. Right? The water not coming in is a matter of physics. They all drain down into these little channels right here. And since the water's draining down, it doesn't try to drain out. So because of that, we can have a wall with no wall, which is very fun. And lets us do some very cheeky things as far as the overall presentation of the base. But oh my goodness, like progress in the last two or three streams on the city has felt immense. So let's get rockets. I wanna I wanna fly around a little bit here. I can go there. I should probably put this. Put these away. That can go in there. Chain because of that too. We'll put the lanterns in there. That's just like building components rough. I have one cyan wool in my thing for oh. Yeah. That's genius. That's just physics. That's a that's that's a fun uh, a fun way to kind of hack the system because it always makes people really interested. But this is the city of Lake Lantis. It just exists in the middle of the ocean. And it is ocean, 32 chunks in every direction render distance, minus a few very tiny little bits of land right over there, right? We have our lantern launch pattern, which we which we added. I should probably add like a really cool nether portal right here. I just haven't done anything fun with that little island yet. But we have the lanterns of everything. We have the towers, which I need to finish building the helixes. And then we'll get the platforms later. I think a wither rose farm is probably the next thing on the to-do list. So we'll get enough ink to be able to do this. Like dark prismarine border around all the edges. We're kind of very overdue for finishing these towers. But even that, like things above the waterline are helping a lot. Notice the dragon. Yeah, Jasmine's a little off her island right now. Like very far. But Jasmine's normally chilling right here on the top in the middle of the island. Obviously, we have the central structure itself. Ah. Which is just a converted ocean monument, which we've done quite a bit for. Actually, you know what we haven't done now that we've finished, or have mostly finished the area? Look at this. None of these maps are updated. Right? So let's update them, because they are woefully out of date oh my god okay they are very out of date like look at how much more we have there we have so much more okay let's update these because that's going to be a lot uh all four of these need to be updated so that one's up to date now this one up to date. This one is up to date. That one's up to date. Okay, let's get these back. No squid farm. I don't have a squid farm because that would rely being in a river. Ocean squid, ocean based squid farms are not super efficient. Uh, and I'm very far from a river. <laughs> like any semblance of a river, I'm very far from it. Yo, that looks a lot cooler now with everything set up that's really good yeah she's trying to escape i just have to set up a little slime piston pushing machine for doing that so what we'll probably do is a wither rose based one because that will allow me to have some really cool so here let me show you all that the whole chest thing that i mentioned so we'll make a wither rose what's over here oh that's just sand neat i i, I didn't realize that that was over there uh We'll just make a wither rose based one, which you can make in the end using a wither and a bunch of snowmen. Maybe we do that next next um, stream. All right, so let's sail over to here and I'll show you all. 
Because check this out. This is so cool. Do, 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 do. Fighting with jump boost is weird. Ah, okay, so put a chest down. Shift. There's a way to do this. I thought there's a is that a bedrock thing and I got baited? Wait. Is this a bedrock thing and I got baited? Oh no. Did I get No. <laughs> that chest can stay there now. You have to use a banner. No, I know it works for banners, but I thought it worked for chests as well, too. Right? I thought it did. Oh, that's a tease. Right click. I did right click. I'll fly back and right click again. I would purposely spread misinformation. I have to use an empty map? Wait, it has to be an empty map? I am willing to try that. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Let's go make an empty map. I just did it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm checking this out. Oh, that would have been cool if I, if I nailed that. Do I have empty maps anywhere? It's not a bedrock thing. It's misinformation. Lies. Lies and slander. Okay, hold on. Um, go. Oh God, where do I find maps? Where do I find maps? Do cartographers sell maps? I might need to get a cartographer friend because I think I've crafted all of the maps that I've used to this point. Yep, we're about to craft another one. Cool. Compass, gimme. That can go there. Nope, that can go there. Paper, where's my rocket box? This is not a useful use of my paper. I don't even have enough. I have just enough. Okay, hold on. Uh, map. Okay, so I have to use an empty map. <clears throat> Still need to play your own creative mini game. Your chests are a mess. I know. Watch your hardcore videos. Out. Watch the whole thing there. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, somebody asked if the one... Ah! There you go. Buried treasure. I'm upset. Better not run out of rockets. See, that's where I live in the ocean. Where we're going, we don't need rockets. And I have little ponds of water all around this base that I can use to just yeet myself everywhere I want to go. Makes it very nice. Nessa, how are you? I'm... How did that not work? How did that not work? That should have worked. Why is there just a chest right here? It's weird. I don't remember putting that there. Huh. I'm genuinely confused a little bit right there. Become dolphin. Cut a fire off. Should I have a board around the top of the water walls to outline them on the maps and act like you parted the water? Mm -hmm. What if the other map being in the chest makes it work? Don't, don't, I'm not going back and forth. I already have failed myself. I brought dishonor on myself and, and my family. I feel ashamed for spreading the lies that I did. I can be a better person and I know I need to improve in the future. <laughs> ah. This is a vibe, though. So as we go out and we seek buried treasure maps and a couple other things, I think this is very much going to be like where we come to store all of that. And this is nice. I I'm very happy. I just have a nice little pirate tavern as, as part of my house now, which is good. Uh, Gem Nightmare, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Brand new sub. Really, really appreciate it. 
Dishonor on you, Dishonor on your cow. Somebody knows the movie that I was referencing. You love to see it. You need a ukulele to make a proper apology. Shame. I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. And by that, apparently, I mean my worst. Alright. Um, a bit of a shorter stream. I do apologize. <clears throat> but I can feel my voice starting to go. Which is probably not a good idea. Right? So, let's find somebody to raid to. To keep the good vibes going. Let's see who is up. Uh, but yeah, just getting over that cold. Decim is hinting at something you forgot because of the alterance. Mm. Uh, who is live today that we haven't raided in a little bit? Um, Oppo's live. Let's read Oppo. Why not? Uh, do, do, raid Oppo Kuna. Sergeant Toaster, I will get you in the book. Thank you so much for getting in right at the end of the stream. I really appreciate it. It's very kind. And Adam with a $2 super chat as well. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Is there anybody that I can send you to on YouTube specifically? If not, I will. Uh, no. No. So, uh, I'm going to get you. Oppo Kuna. Boop, boop, boop. I, now, I don't think Oppo is always family friendly. Keep that in mind, everybody. If you happen to be watching with the little ones. But Oppo is an amazing person. Met them back in MCC Rising, behind pirates and a whole bunch of other things, and it's just awesome. I'm on vacation for the next basically week and a half. I'm grinding through videos for the next couple of days, and then I'm gonna schedule a whole bunch of tweets and teasers and videos and everything to go out while I'm away. So hopefully you all have a lot of content and be able to eat well even if I'm gone. It'll be fun. Uh, I'll post a couple pictures from the cruise. Obviously nothing but the kids in it, but it's just going to be a really great time. I'm going to decompress, relax, probably stress out missing being able to record on stuff. I'll have a whole bunch more stuff coming very soon. Like I said, new series launching this weekend. I'm hyped. I can't wait. Um, new 100 Days is already recorded. So much more coming soon. Extraction soon. Oh my God, get hyped. But until next time, everybody, take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. And see you in two weeks. Good night. Bye. Goodbye now. Bye bye now. Bye bye now. Bye now. Bye bye now. Go tell Oppo I said hi. Here's the raid message some more times to the to the YouTube people. Okay. Bye bye now. Bye bye now. Bye.